and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a sit down video in ages and ages and now you know, but it's all been vlogs and I'm back from the now. And I'm going to be doing a haul for you today. And also, side note, as you can see, what's this thing to me? I have got this thing on my head and I'm trying to make it look good. And I showed it in the haul like in February or something, this is my first time wearing it. And I like it. I just can't decide if it suits me and I think it's good enough. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. let me know what you think. I hope it looks okay. Also, my makeup's a lot more bold and a bit more adventurous than it usually is, so I hope you like that as well. I don't know if I like it, I'm just going to go on to video in it anyway. It's going to be um, something different, a bit of fresh air. So, so hopefully this is going to film because it's not filming. Oh uh, yeah. So first up I bought the Body Shop Body Butter in Mango and let me just tell you, it smells so great. Mango are my favourite fruit and mm, I don't love anything scented mango, any flavoured mango, anything mango related. It's just amazing. And um, I really rate this because a lot of moisturisers seem to dry out my skin like they do the opposite of what they're meant to do. I know that's weird but... It just seems to happen with me and a lot of moisturisers. Like, let me know if that happens to you too because. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this doesn't dry on my skin, it actually moisturises it, which is a very great plus because it's called a moisturiser. So after that, I got this nice perfume from Zara and it was only 7 euros, which I think is really good. It was on sale and it's in this really cute packaging. It's called From, Van from Zara with Vanity. So it smells like. Mmm, it smells so good. I think it smells like black green bait or black pomegranate, but I don't know. Because my mum owns one of them and I don't know which one it is. So it smells a lot like that. So it's like a good dupe for that. And this is just really nice. And the packaging is super cute. And I love it. I love the perfume from Zara. And it's the Zara 6902 Hollywood Boulevard, Los Angeles, Eau de Toilette. And oh my god, the packaging is so lovely and sleek and modern. I love it so much. And it is the, yeah, I've already read its name. And it's kind of gradient ombre transfer colours, the packaging. It like transfers from blue to yellow. And I personally think it smells like mangoes, which I love, as you probably guessed by my <laughs> moisturiser. Officially, this is flavoured, not flavoured, scented, fragranced. The top is pear, mandarin, grapefruit, the heart is rosy, the valley, and yalang, yalang, and the base is cedar and musk. So yeah, I don't know how much of it is, but it smells so, so great. Okay, so next is this lip gloss from Kiko, and it's like my new favourite brand, I think. It's like it's kind of Sephora, but it's its own kind of Sephora. And it's an Italian version and it's not so far because it's a lot cheaper, like very affordable but very quality. And it's only got its own branded stuff in it. But you know what, that doesn't matter. It's not anything like too noticeable, it's just a nice unnoticed lip gloss, it's called, and it's a nice transparent, baby pinky colour, and it's just super cute and I really, really like it. There's some shine to your lips. Next are these two lip glosses from the brand Essence. And one is XXL Shine Lip Gloss. Uh -huh. One is the XXL Shine Lip Gloss in the colour Fabulous Fuchsia. And one is the colour Essence XXL Nude Lip Gloss in the colour Taste the Sweets. And I've got them swatched here on my hand. You can tell which one is which. This is just a nice essential nude colour that you need. And this one is a Lovely lip gloss, I think it's going to be great for the winter, autumn months that are coming. So yeah, I'm really happy with these and they were only £1.20 each and I love this brand. Next up is a, not a version, it's a more touristy thing. When I was in Sicily, uh, we went up Mount Etna, which I think is the most active volcano in the world. And this, we got this nice set of photographs from it. And it's of Mount Etna doing, doing its thing, erupting, and it's... Okay, thank God I didn't erupt when we were there, because I thought we bought these photos from the gym for and thank God I didn't erupt when we were there. But these photos are so beautiful, like... Oh my God, 
gloss. Like, look at this. Look at it, it's amazing. And this is not really bought them because they're probably going to see it actually up. Let me grab that. My distance would be nice. Hopefully, you know, I don't know that. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Anyway, next we bought, I bought mm -hmm. um, this pair of shorts. And it's a nice leather look pair of shorts from H&M. Obviously they're not real because they were 20 euros on me. And um, they're just act actually surprisingly comfy. And the inside isn't leather, but I still wouldn't recommend wearing it on a really hot day. And it's a nice, nice fit. And it's kind of like plain shiny leather here. And then here it's more quilted. I don't know if that's how you describe it, that's how I describe it. And yeah, I really like these. Oh. Next is this kimono from H&M as well. It was only 10 euros. Yeah, 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 great bargain. And um, this is such a nice, loose material. Oh my gosh, it's so flowy and airy and comfy. And I love it so much. It's one of those Aztec florally patterns. It's got more pastel colors mixed in, which I really, really like. And I am obsessed with this. And you will have seen it in my vlog. I'll link it here. Um, Work. Um, it's my vlog on the day on the boat and yeah, I love it so much. It doesn't really go with those kind of clashes, hashtag double Aztec. So my last clothing item is this nice vesty, jackety, kimono-y, um, creamy coloured, uh, creamy coloured crochet, cut crochet knit, lovely jacket thing. I really, really, really love it. Oh my gosh, it's like a cardigan and a vest, and it's great. It's just nice to throw over your outfit and cream over a lot of stuff, and it's just generally lovely and light and perfect in summer. I don't even know what to say about it, but I recommend getting one of these in the wardrobe. It's just nice to jazz up your outfit a bit as well. So we are. I got two lip liners from Kiko again, and um, one of them I've opened already. It is this nice one. I kind of broke the top by accident before, so let's go that plastic off. But it's like in this kind of corally, just mm, general pinky red color. And it's a smart lip pencil. This is in the color 702. Really wish I had names for the product. That would be super cute. But I really like it. And that's what it looks like on me. On me. And yeah, and then this one, I might open it now. This one is a seriously dark plum colour. And um, it's also by Kiko. And oh, it's so nice. I have a seriously dark lip gloss stick, but I don't know why this winter. So, another great one for the winter coming up. And these are such, they like, just glide on so easily. And I really, really love this brand a lot. Like, oh, it does everything, it does it all. It's great. Next up is another Kiko colour. And um, it is a lip, no, not a lip gloss, it's an eyeshadow, and it's an indigo. But you can finish the eyeshadows, and this, it doesn't have a name, it's in the colour 246. Very, it's got very high pigment, which I like in an eyeshadow. And um, they're all very sparkly, purpley, lovely colour, and I think it's going to be great for the winter again. As you can see, I'm impatient, I need to really buy them to stop. But yeah, I think that's really good for, and it's just really, really cute. And I definitely recommend checking out Kiko like this. Like, I love Kiko. Oh my god, I love Kiko. Shadow Kiko. Next up, girls. Ooh, Ooh another touristy thing. And I got this in Rome, as you can probably tell. Made in Italy, duh. And it is a little statue of the Colosseum, which I actually went into and I loved that as well, so I like that here. A lot of self-promotion happening in this video. And a lot of weird accents happening as well. But yeah, self-promoting myself. It's, I've got a vlog where I go into the Colosseum. It's like, I really am proud of that vlog. So if you want to check that out, that would be great. And yes, this is my Colosseum. I will tell you remember my experience. It's such a lovely city room there, obviously. I recommend that I recommend that going to the Which I love to talk about. Ah, next is this Kiko Makeup Milano Radiant Touch Creamy Stick Highlighter. And I've never seen a highlighter on a stick. I've never actually owned a highlighter. 
but it's such a, it's like a nice, I mean it's a high, it's shiny, highlighty as a highlighter is, highlighty well, making you feel both out. But this was good, a good price, it's in the 100 colour. And um, uh, I really like it, and I've just started using highlighter, I'm not actually wearing it right now. But, oh uh, my head thing, uh, but yeah, um, again it's Kiko, I love Kiko, like, I wish they had it in Switzerland, but it's so bad. Kiko, if you're watching this, break in Switzerland. But, um, yeah. And it's in a stick form, which is pretty awesome, I think. Ooh. Anyway, moving on, it's another infinite, no, it's another eyeshadow by Kiko. And it is very pigmented, once again, which I like. And um, it's an infinity eyeshadow, once again. And it's uh, a more brown, darky, chocolatey colour which is good in the crease. I think it would also work quite well on your lid, but like it could, it would be a darker look, but it would also work on your lid. So yeah, another great Kiko product. Like, maybe a Kiko will This is another eyeshadow, it's a bit different. It's a water eyeshadow from Kiko. It's in the shade 218. And it's so pretty, so pretty. I'm just going to see it. Like, I love it so so much. It's a long lasting, it's quite um it's like quite a wet eyeshadow, but it's a nice corally eyeshadow. Don't want to swatch it because I don't want it to ruin its beautiful pattern. I love it. I love it so much. I love its design. It's gorgeous. And um yeah, it's apparently on the on me. And yes, I love it so much. I don't know when I'm gonna wear it more in the summer. Oh, excuse that little noise that just was there. It was the shutter is going down. Okay, so lastly is this another product by Essence, and it's this blush. It's the Essence Blush Up Powder Blush in the shade 10 Heat Wave, and it's like multicolored, so it transfers a kind of gradient um, ombre again. It goes. Um, like coraly orange to pink, like some really bright pink. And so it gives a really fresh look throughout the whole day, so that is very good. As it, and it says it does on the back, so it's kind of true. And um, you can either use each other, but colour, but it's also a really nice mix together I found when I used it. And it's good quality, and it was like only 3 euros. And yeah, you can make it look natural or intense, it's just really nice blush and there you can see it. I might open it a bit. I like the packaging and the fact that you can see inside it in the packaging. So yeah. So that was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed my haul. I really hope you found it. And give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Yeah. And also you can subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Follow me on Twitter and follow my blog that will be linked in the down there. And yeah. I'll see you next time. With the after school app, if I do this video or a vlog, depending on what goes up first. Bye!